So we have all the Brass games, we've had all the Brass games for ages. Um, one specific memory I have with the Brass games is when Brats Girls Really Rock actually first came out. Yes, I am that old that I was, you know, I was, I was alive when it first came out. Like, I just, I, <laughs> I remember that, like, it was new. I and like Shields. She actually played that before me, and I played yeah. the other three games before her. But yeah, she mm. played this. She, well, you yeah. can tell the story. Yeah, so, well, I just got had just gotten my PS2 because, like, again, she got me into everything. So I like, what PS2? As well. Yeah. <laughs> so I like, want. I'd be playing at her. So I'm like, Mom, I really want a PS2. I want to play the Bratz games. Like I do at Katie's place. So she eventually ended up getting me one, and um, I was I, the PS2s are the coolest things ever. They are, yeah. and they still are. Like I still play PS2. I don't play any other game console maybe except for like the Wii and stuff like that but yeah. um yeah like no PS3s no PS4s like she has that but not me like <laughs> PS2s for life and when my other one finally breaks I'll just get another one <laughs> pink one <laughs> yeah pink one <laughs> um but yeah well, the Bratz games oh we just have so many memories of them and with the girls really rock it was brand new so I could only rent it out I rented it out <laughs> I, I can't believe you did that because they always seem so expensive to rent games out yeah well mum let me and um I rented it out and I didn't have a memory card at that time either for my PS2 and also didn't really matter because it was only overnight. It was that new. I had to have it overnight. And um, so I stayed up all night playing Bratz Girls Really Rock and that was really exciting. I can't believe this, we were able to finish that because that was by far the longest Bratz game yes. due to all the dancing and then you have to do like the same song three times with dancing and keyboard and guitar mm -hmm. and that game just feels like it goes on forever <laughs> it does and it's hard to get <laughs> money in that game as well yeah so it's hard so, to fully finish everything yeah but i did it all overnight <laughs> um but my memories of the brats games i remember the first one i got rock angels it was selling at the post office oh yeah and it was twenty dollars and like i remember my mom told us me and my sister about it and we're like oh we really really want it but I actually didn't have a PS2, my sister did, so I always just watched her. Um, and my, I put one dollar towards it. <laughs> I, I earned one dollar of the game, and she earned a nineteen dollars of the game. Um, but yeah, we like, we were like, oh my mom, we have the money, so we like made her drive us there and then play it. Um, yeah, we didn't have a memory card. Like the struggles of not having a memory <laughs> card. So like, we were like gonna have to like leave it on pause all night so we can finish the game um but yeah i remember playing that it was super exciting well i mean i was like watching for most of it but when i actually got to play it myself like because i begged my mom like i want a ps2 myself i want to be able to play the brats games that's pretty much the only reason i wanted one at the time i'm like the brats games the brats games and then i remember forever diamonds my sister bought that one as well and i ended up borrowing it later and then shannon ended up somehow with two copies so I just yeah, got her copy that. later on yeah and then I finally got my own one which is Bratz the movie I got it for myself I got it for Christmas I remember getting so angry because the day I played it I decided to play it the next day on Boxing Day and in Australia if you don't know Christmas for us it's like 45 degrees and I remember it's a really hot day and because of it um, we had a power outage and I didn't have a memory card and I'm oh, like, oh no, I didn't say. <laughs> no, and like, Brats and Movies is a really long game too because you have like so much stuff you have to yeah. do and then go back and do and you have to always be looking for the side quests because there's so many side quests that, you know, unlock at certain points in the game so you have to keep going back and around and it takes a long time to finish the game too. And I remember the blackout and I pretty much like, I started crying <laughs> Why did it have to black out? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to start all over again. Cool. Um, but yeah, that was such a fun memory to have my own Bratz game. But I've pretty much taken the other ones now anyway. So, um, And then after Shannon got Ghost Really Rock, I think not too long after, I ended up buying it. I just ended up buying like a pre-owned version because it was cheaper. And then like that didn't work. So they just ended up giving me a new copy anyway. And... Yeah, yeah, and the memories with Bratz Girls really rough. Oh yeah. So like, it's kind of hard for us to choose which is a favorite, our favorite game of the Bratz, but probably together it would just be Bratz Girls Really Rock because because we can of, play it together. Yeah, we can play it together. There's lots of two player mini games, and we love <laughs> playing mini golf on there. Like we play them every few weeks. We'll be like, pretty much like Bratz. Yeah, do you want to play mini golf? <laughs> yeah, we'll do like one song. Oh, this is so annoying because everyone has to be on the right instruments. Like, we don't know what I'm talking about. 
like you can play through like music in the games. Um, yeah, you can play songs. Okay, so with so okay, let's just get it together. <laughs> yeah. We're trying to I'm explain. just getting flustered. Yeah, <laughs> I'm also my, I'm my passionate about this. <laughs> yeah, we love rap, but like, okay, so Sasha belongs on dancing. Yeah, and Chloe belongs on, on guitar. guitar. Um, Yasmin on keys and Jade on drums. And that's the our, way it goes. Yeah, our favorite. Okay, we're back. <laughs> yeah, sorry, technical difficulties. Yeah. But yeah, we're just talking about the games. Um, just chop that up. We we just we are playing the mini. Oh, There's still little. so much littler than me. I'm little. I'm big. <laughs> I'm little. Yeah, look, I'm, I'm big. big. All the time. <laughs> okay. Okay, sorry about the technical difficulties, but um, yeah, just chop that up. So we loved playing the music and just um, we loved playing the mini golf too. We always tried to come up with like secret ways of how we could um, like outfest each other and like get the best score and everything. Yeah, and, like, like try to make those ridiculous jumps. In the yeah, golf and... yeah, exactly. How, how all these different ways. Like, and and um, one one time at school, um, our teacher was asking us, um, so how about you write down some ways that you could be resourceful in Katie's. <laughs> Oh, we're really resourceful in Brad's mini golf. <laughs> we're trying to think of ways to get the better score. <laughs> like, what even is that? <laughs> okay, again, this is that, like, Brad's just infected our whole lives. Every part of it. Mm -hmm. But uh, And I also own some of the DS games, which I have a lot of fun playing too. Um, but yeah, the Brad's games have been, like, a big part. Like, we, could, we like, play them yearly at least. I remember I was in Korea for three months and I really missed my PS2 and I just suddenly really wanted to play Bratz so I figured out a way to somehow play it on the PC, like the PS2 games, like we just enjoy them that much and like yeah, we always... exactly. Every year we would we would go through play each of the Bratz games. They mean a lot to us. They're so fun and you know lots of people say oh they're boring. The graphics are bad. It's kind of funny because in the in the with, speaking of the graphics, you know there will be times where the girl's hair will go through their bodies and up into the <laughs> air. Just like it's funny. <laughs> It is funny, and the, like, all the glitches that you do. Sometimes when they brats will just go into this white nothingness. Yeah, see, the only thing that I really hate is when I play Rock Angels, it's so fragile, sometimes the game will just pause and stop up. Yeah, so I have to make sure that I'm like always saving, and then, yeah, because it always <laughs> seems to stop up for me on the Rock Angels show and the Paris show. Nothing else. It just randomly pause, and you can't fix it, so... Mm. Yeah. But anyway, the Brass Games another huge part of our friendship mm -hmm. that we still play to this day. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So our next memory. Um, was it your mom or your sister that gave us the journals? I think mom. Yeah. We one time we got these matching journals and we were deciding like what should we do with them because we weren't really we're like the dear diary kind of kids, but we were like let's make this more creative and. I was like, let's write to Cymbeline and Lena, because they were our favourite characters. Lena's my favourite, Cymbeline has, from Pixies Up the Moon, the main girls. So, um, and yeah, we just started writing to them every day, and we'd always be like... Yeah, we talk about our days of school, like, oh, I finished all my work today, like, and we got hot lunches, Yeah, and now I'm having a sleepover with Katie. It's like, <laughs> I got a treat today, we had this yummy dinner today. <laughs> and then, like, yeah... Now we look back at it, the pages are black, so it's really hard to yeah. read some of the entries. So we yeah, and we, we, like, we, not... we wrote them in gel pens, too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'll be like, what am, what am I saying? And we also would write, it's like we're writing letters, so we would write the replies from Cymbeline and Lena. Yeah. yeah. And I think, I remember Cymbeline and Lena just talking about Lena's parties all the time. Yeah, they were just like, like Lena was always having a party. Lena having parties, and then we cared about parties. <laughs> Pretty much, like, are you coming to the party? I remember writing once, oh yeah, I'm going to come to the party and Katie's coming. And we had another friend at the time as well who I said, like, oh yeah, and we have another friend who's coming along. And we took Lena's, you know, non-existent party, Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, but that's something else we always did. And when we call up every night, we're like, oh, did you write to Lena and Cymbeline last night? Like, we'd ask each other and like, oh yeah, like, I wrote to Lena. Or like, oh, eventually, like, after a while, I got a bit bored of it because we're like, oh. Uh, I was a bit tired. I didn't write to her last night. And then, yeah, I remember apologizing to Cymbeline that I didn't write to her. For yeah, I did that too. I'd be like, oh, I'm so sorry. I was just like, I got busy with school. Yeah. Okay, what is that? <laughs> yeah. But it was from when I lost. And we still have our diaries. We keep them forever because 
such a good memory and yeah, it's really fun riding to him. Mm-hmm. Okay, awesome. Okay, our next memory so is probably a dark our- magic memory. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we were such evil children. <laughs> well, we were very naive on the internet. Um, yeah. And, you know, kids kids just dream about wishes all the time, right? They just wish, dream about movies centered around it. And it's just their whole idea of if I could just have one wish or three wishes. Um, so I found this, like, magic eight thing on the internet. <laughs> It was so weird. Now I look back at it, I'm like, wow, that's so dark magic, Katie. <laughs> but yeah, so I found this thing. You'd be like, you write the number eight on a paper. Mm-hmm. You'd have to leave it in the moonlight. Yeah, for like eight minutes or something. Yeah. Like you have to go outside and put it in the moonlight. And something else you had to do. Yeah. But yeah, I remember not even being able to do it because my mum wouldn't let me outside. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do it either because my mum would be like, where are you going? Why are you going outside at night? Yeah. So I just put it on my windowsill. So yeah, same. Yeah. Even if it was actually legit, I would have failed it because I was definitely not in the moonlight. Yeah, um, my mum was the same. She would ask me, I'd ask her, Can I, I'm just going outside. What are you doing? I couldn't tell her that I was performing some dark, dark magic. magic. <laughs> So, do you know why I wanted to do this? To wish for everything Brad's ever made. <laughs> I have every wish we could have had. A million dollars, a trillion dollars, a huge mansion full of all these toys. We just wanted everything Brad's ever made. Still well, want everything Brad's ever made. I know, yeah, we still want it. <laughs> but just the lengths we would go to to perform <laughs> some dark magic ritual in our room. Like, with this, so like, I hope this works. And it was, you're supposed to do it for eight days. Eight days came and went, and no trucks ever pulled up with everything brats ever made. <laughs> That's when we stopped believing in magic. And it was like, that was so sad. Like, honestly, in my heart, I believed it would happen. I was like, this is real. I'm like, this is eight days today. When yeah. I am like, no, nothing ever came. <laughs> Can confirm, doesn't work. <laughs> but yeah, like, that was our only wish at the time. Like, any time we had to write down a wish for something, we wanted everything brats ever made. Yeah, because we just wanted all the dolls, all the movies we didn't have at the time, any games we didn't have. We wanted mm. all the board games, books, stickers, stationery, clothes, everything. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we still want everything Brats ever made. Pretty much, like down to the littlest things. Anything Brats we see these days, like, let's get it. If we do, which is normally yeah. in op shops. Yeah, pretty all. much. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, still a big wish. <laughs> what? No, just a <laughs> 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 So our last shared memory, which kind of goes into our singular memories, is getting brats for birthdays and Christmases. Mm-hmm. I remember logging on to MSN and being like, look what I got. Like, well, not look what I got, but I tell you what I got for Christmas. Like, we'd always do that. We'd be like, let's try to log on. Like, we'd plan it. would be like 2 p.m. on Christmas because everything should be done then. And we'd be like, we got this doll or this doll. And... I remember, and like we'd always get dolls. That was the only thing we asked for our birthdays and Christmases was just dolls. Pretty much, um, yeah. That's how we got all our dolls. Like we have like fifty plus dolls each, and that's how we got them: birthdays and Christmases. I remember one Christmas I got you a Bratz Christmas doll. Yes, the Chloe. Yeah, yeah. I, I have a matching it. Yasmin one. I, yeah. I think I had both of them, and yeah, I got you one as well. Um, but yeah, there's so many memories behind like each and every doll. Mm-hmm. So many dolls that I have now that I realize were like so rare and like wow, and I yeah. didn't take care of it. <laughs> like I took care of it more or less, but just not in perfect condition. But um, yeah, like there's so many memories. Like I got a few of the holiday dolls. Like I got the purple and red holiday Chloe's, and I got the holiday Katya. So they're really special. You know, I reckon my most wanted brat doll is the um Tokyo Kumi one, like the special edition one. You know, I actually reckon I would have got that, but I remember when she first came out and I saw her in Target, me and my sister had like a screaming match in Target because we both wanted it, so that's why my mum was like, none of you are getting it, because mum knew if she bought it, she'd have to buy it for both of us, and it was expensive, so no way she was doing that, but yeah, and then like all the dolls I got, they used to sell like the four pack of Bratz, which I think we mentioned in our last video, didn't we? I feel like we've mentioned it before. Or just we were talking about yeah. it. <laughs> um, everyone everyone, everyone blurs into each other. Um, but yeah, they sold like a four pack of brat dolls. So it was like, yeah, just four different brat dolls, but like wrapped together. And 
I remember getting that one time for a birthday, and that was like for four brats at once. That was so exciting. Like fifty dollars for four brats. Now it's hard to find one. One brats for fifty dollars is a bargain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and most times it's like nude with no clothes and like <laughs> cut off hair, <laughs> pretty much. Um, and I remember one specific really exciting memory for me is. I got the Diamond Sasha for Christmas one year and they were doing like this promotion where if you like took this form and you bought a diamond store and you like sent in your details they would send you out a free a free spring break doll and like I don't know why they were doing that and uh, my mum must have done it because it was still when she was trying to still keep me believing in Santa um but yeah and then she must have done it and I didn't know about it because I remember seeing the form like oh this is cool you can get a free brats and we completely forgot about it. More like a month later, it's like almost the end of January. I okay, back again. Uh, my iPad keeps cutting out because <laughs> we're running out of storage. So I gotta speak quickly. Um, but yeah, we just got a big package, and it was my spring break doll. And like that was just so cool, getting a free brat doll. And I was like, this is the coolest thing ever. And it's just so unexpected. And at the time I got it, I was actually playing brats. All right, how about some of your memories about getting brats? Okay, um, I'm trying to remember, like, I think my very first brat stall, I'm trying to remember, I think it was the Play Sports Yasmin, and she was in the gym one, and I loved her so much, and she is really used now, but still in good condition, but, oh my gosh, I loved her, and, um, I loved getting, you know, brats from everyone, like, everyone got me brats for Christmas, like, Katie got me brats, my mom, like, my nana, everyone got me brats, and I was like, I don't know, the specific individual ones that I really remember. Like, I'm gonna have to look at my my dolls and we'll make another video. We're gonna make a collection video of our brats at yeah. some point and also talk about some stories with our dolls. But um, I think, I guess one of my, my most favorite memories has to be actually a shared one. Um, so yeah, when we were still living in another town, our hometown, and coming here was really exciting for us. It was a big thing. Like my mum would do the grocery shopping up here and um, Katie and me were having a sleepover. Mum decided that she would do the grocery shopping that day, and uh, it was so exciting. Like we went and yeah. um, we went to Kmart, and back then, Bratz like, was all over the shelves. Yeah, it was everywhere. They had like a whole line, and now you know there's nothing, obviously. Mm. And it was so amazing. And we got to. My mum said that we could get a Bratz doll, which was amazing. Yeah, and it was so exciting. And I picked out. Um, the Flower Girls Yasmin. Um, I picked out a Chloe. I don't know if she has a play sports or anything. She has a skater. Skater. Just skater. Yeah, she had the yeah. black streaks in her hair. Yeah, which I thought she was so cool with like the black streaks and her converse shoes and everything. Like that was just the coolest thing ever. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, and I loved the Yasmin yeah. because those I love the Flower Girls line. I want to complete it eventually because they actually have that really nice smelling hair, like floral smelling. I loved it. And uh, it was so exciting to be able to pick that out. And then um, on the way back, when we came home, it was dark, and we took the two dolls out in my backyard for an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, one of, I think my one was scared. Like we made Yasmin scared. And yeah. I was like, no, we're gonna have an adventure in the dark. Yeah. We oh just played God. outside with my dolls, and then we came in and sat next to the heater. And, yeah. Yeah. Trying to comfort. It's just such a good time. So it's the first time we brought Brett's together. Yeah. That's so. That's probably my favorite doll memory. Yeah, I think that's like our favorite memory. We actually had an activity book where we had to write down our favorite sleepover. And mm -hmm. we like... That's we probably both to this day our favorite sleepover. Yeah, we both got this activity book and then one day we were sharing like, oh, what did you write for this? I realized we both wrote that sleepover because it was just our favorite, like everything about it, you know, going shopping at night is always exciting. Mm -hmm. And then we got to get like fast food, which is kids is exciting. And then... Going shopping, getting brats, having a sleepover, all of it was exciting. It was, yeah. Um, another of my favourite memories with brats, sort of just on my own, which I know Katie won't say, because it's kind of a weird memory, like, like why do I love it so much? Um, is the very first time that I watched Brats Forever Diamonds, um, which I watched at Katie's house, and it was in, um, so she had two lounge rooms, and one was more secluded, because it has, had <laughs> doors. <laughs> yeah. Oh yes, but with a giant TV. Yes, <laughs> she had the giant TV and like these really nice couches like in her lounge room and you could shut the doors so it was like our own little haven. Mm. And I always thought every single sleepover we had it was so cool. Like, can we go in the lounge room? 
going to the lounge room. And we, that's where we would act out our Bratz games or the movies. That's where we would watch the Bratz movies. And uh, the very first time I watched Bratz River Diamonds was in that lounge room. TV was there. Couch was there. I just remember, like, I can still hear it in my head how it sort of, how I heard it the first time. Like, it's just strange to explain, but you remember these things. It was such a special feeling. And that's why I love River Diamonds so much, even though it's only my second favourite. Um, it was just, it, it's, a, it's an exciting movie. It's a classic Bratz yeah, well. movie. And um, the very first time I watched it, I loved it. And yeah. it's just one of those, you know, back times when like Bratz was just everything. And that movie made me so happy. And it was just so exciting seeing something new in Katie's cool lounge room. <laughs> Such a cool atmosphere. And that's just, um, yeah, that's one of my absolute favorite memories. Um, another one of my favorite memories is um, when we would go to the show, which is what, oh, for, yeah. yeah, for anyone not in Australia, it's basically a fair. Yeah. And um, back we would get like show bags, um, and that was back in the days. You know when Bratz was everywhere, so they had Bratz ones, and um, we didn't even go on any rides once. My mum just took us there to get show bags, and then we left. <laughs> but uh, we actually walked there because it was um, not too far from where we were living. Um, and then I remember walking back, just like a little girl, just like really happy with my Bratz show bag, skipping up the, the dreaded hill, skipping up the hill. I have show bag it's so cool <laughs> i was so happy i think you got it as well yeah because i ended up getting matching yeah. bags on them and yeah. we like wore those they bags so they wore out like mm -hmm. we took those everywhere i thought like that was our handbag it was like this cool over the shoulder purple bag and it had crawling oh, in it yeah, yeah. We yeah. really want to get them again. I know, because we don't know what happened to them. Um, and anyway, when I was looking at Bratz bags the other day on eBay, I realized I saw this little Bratz bag and it brought back a flashback that I must have got on another Bratz show bag years ago when I was like a little Bratz one and I'd had that Bratz bag. I completely forgot about it. So, yeah. yeah, we've collected quite a few of the show bags over the years. Yeah, and that was the coolest thing. And that was back when they had cool stuff in the show. So they had an actual handbag that you could use. Um, lots of cool Bratz things. Um, and the deodorants. So Aww. like perfumes, deodorants, whatever you want to call them. Um, and they were the coolest things ever to me. I always talk about them. I still talk about them. And I'm just, for me, I'm just really obsessed with them. They're just like, such a good memory because they used to sell them at the supermarket as well. And I remember exactly where they sold them. And Katie and me would get them all the time. Look at these cute, like, like cool, like Brad's perfumes. And they smelled so nice. We had one of each girl. And I don't think I ever, there was one girl that I never got one of. Yeah, I think me too. I realized when I looked them up later, they were only Australian. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I didn't actually know that. I was about to say that Australia got them first. Yeah, well, they um, were bought out by a company in Australia, so that was the only person that we, we were lucky. We were like, Australia never gets its own, like, indie, like solo stuff that other yeah, countries don't get. Exactly. So that was something we actually got that other countries didn't. Yeah, which, which is amazing. And it, it doesn't really surprise me because, again, like we said earlier, Bratz was so popular in Australia, probably more even more popular than in America, if you can believe that. <laughs> um, it, it just really took here. Everyone loved it. And um, yeah, it was popular. So we had things that other countries didn't have, like the deodorants, which, so if you're American or you're European or Asian or anything, you won't know what these are. So we'll put a picture up on yeah. the screen. And I still have that picture of when I actually, uh, it's, it's in a photo album somewhere, when I actually got that show bag and I'm holding up one Bratz thing as well as the perfume. I don't look impressed, but I was <laughs> impressed. <laughs> it was so cool. Um, yeah, th those are one of my favourite memories. And um, yeah, I wish they were still around because I really want them. Yeah. They smelled so good. Yeah, that's probably like we've looked on eBay, but I don't think we'll ever find them because mm. if they weren't sold worldwide. Then... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like Even just like empty bottles that like, we're looking for just yeah. to keep them. Because I don't know what we did with ours. I threw that because it was stupid kids. <laughs> All right, some of my individual memories. We still got we got so many individual memories, but um, mm -hmm. some of mine. Um, so yeah, me and my sister we played Bratz every single weekend. So that's like one memory of itself. Was like her and I. We just got out our tops of Bratz. We played every single weekend. We had like a full story going on that went on for years. Like. We did the Bratz in high school, and we did like every single year of high school, and eventually we did their first year of college too. And we had like all their friendship groups, and like, like we just went, like, my sister and I have so many memories of playing that. Um, and another thing we did is we actually, my sister did most of the work, but we did make Bratz magazines as well, and they look so amazing. Like, my sister's so talented with drawing, and she, like, drew the Bratz really well, and yeah, we made our own, like, magazines, 
Um, speaking of Bratz magazines, I the actual real Bratz magazines did sell on our news agents, which was so exciting that they sold these. And I used yeah. to collect every now and again. I'd get a couple, like one of them. Um, but they weren't the cheapest, so not, not always. Um, and there was one time I went to the news agents. And I'd looked at the back of it, and I'd completely forgotten, and they never sent me anything to let me know about it. But um, I'd actually taken a picture of my brats in a pyramid, like a cheerleading. We'd dress them up in like cheerleading clothes, and we put them in a pyramid, and I took a photo and sent it in. And it got featured, and I didn't even know. I just was in the news agents, and I was looking at the back, and I'm like, oh, I'm like, that's my picture. That's my name. And so I was so excited. I ran out, and I told my mom, because my mom had already left, like, Mom, my picture's in the brats magazine. And then we um sorry about that. So uh, then I ended up buying that magazine. My mom bought it for me because it's a special one. So I had my submitted picture in it, and I'm gonna try find it, and we'll put a screenshot up if we can get the picture. But yeah, that was just really cool. Um, I completely forgotten about it, but I have been in the Bratz magazine. So, when I first like told my parents, I thought like my own picture was in it. And I'm glad not because I was not a good kid. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was a really cool memory for me. And I loved those yeah. Bratz magazines. I feel like Australia had a different one to the rest of the world because I've seen some of the other ones that are out there. They're different to our ones, but they were so cool. I loved reading them. They came with awesome posters and stories and activities. And I loved seeing all the new Bratz in them. Yeah. Speaking of magazine, I kind of remember, remember we both tried to get in a magazine, like win that competition with the doll. Do you want to talk about yeah. that? <laughs> yeah, this, so I, think I saw that doll on eBay selling for three hundred dollars. Do you know that's my reaction? I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, who would have paid French dolls that piece of crap? <laughs> Okay, so should we explain that? <laughs> okay, so there was a competition that I came up as well in this competition as well. Oh, it was good. Um, yeah. So you could design your own brat stall, submit it in, and you have the chance to have it made. And we spent one day at school working like all of our recess and lunch time on drawing our brat stall, but we got so caught up in drawing the actual doll itself, yeah, and not like the design. The, and I spent the whole lunch time drawing the eyes. <laughs> yeah, we were trying to get the eyes perfect. <laughs> Honestly, we wasted our chance of winning because we just focused too much on that. But, um, yeah, I don't even remember if we ended up designing clothes for them. Because that was, like, the main we thing. It didn't really matter. Dolls. Yeah. <laughs> it just made the eyes look good. I know, it just didn't really matter. We just really needed to design the hair and the clothes, I guess. Um, and then, like, we got so annoyed because the girl that ended up winning, like, her design just, I don't know. I don't, it just wasn't as good as anything we could have designed. I still stand by that. <laughs> um, it was just like a plain red dress with white polka dots on it, and like I don't know, she won. I didn't. She got like she got a brat stall made, and I just remember seeing it every time. Even my mum and my sister we saw were, it. They were like, oh, we were like, we were bitter children. Yeah, every time we saw that. <laughs> I know, I'm still bitter, I wanted to win. Like, even my mum was like, oh, that's the doll that won. And mum's like, oh, I won't be buying that then. So, yeah, we were so yeah. good about that. Oh, uh, and speaking of competitions, this is another one of my memories. I remember I entered a colouring competition for Toywell. And it was to win, like, this cool, like, Brats the Movie premiere limo experience, but I didn't win. But I came second, and I won a Bratz Genie Magic doll. So that was really cool, because, like, I wouldn't have got a Genie Magic doll if that hadn't have happened. And it was a Sasha, too! And Sasha's my favourite, if you don't know. So that was, like, so exciting, because it was, like, a deluxe doll, a movie doll, and it was a Sasha one. So that was a really exciting time. Teddy's won a lot of Bratz competitions. I didn't win. <laughs> Yeah, so bringing that genie magic doll was so exciting. It would have been really cool to win the limo experience, but as some other memory, I did end up going to see Bratz in the movies. Like, I saw Bratz the movie. I went with my sister. Like, just one day my mum was around to me, like, oh, they're showing that. And I guess they must have been showing it for cheap tickets. And then my mum's like, oh, do you want to go with your sister? And then she paid for me to go. And that was so exciting. 
like seeing a Bratz movie in the cinema and at that time I really didn't go to the cinema much as a kid. It's not the most cheap thing in Australia, so yeah. I'm so jealous. <laughs> Honestly, so that came out in 2007, and I did not know a Bratz in 2007, so I never got to watch it. <laughs> I just wish they had like a Bratz movie now, so we could go see yeah. it in the cinemas. And hopefully it would be good, not anything like making fun of the movie. <laughs> yeah. But so. a new Bratz movie. I know, that's our dream. A new Bratz movie and a new Bratz game. Mm -hmm. And maybe a TV series. Oh, yes, definitely we don't a TV ask series. <laughs> <laughs> we still, by the way, we still have not got the new... Um, Bratz collector dolls, we want them so much, but they... Uh, see, the know, thing is, for everyone else, people are complaining about the price in America, but you guys get, like, free shipping most of the time. Amazon always does deals, right? But it's free shipping in America only. And, well, I'm not saying all you guys, but any Americans that complain about this, like, it's so annoying. And then they complain about the price being $50, but for us, it's not $50. It's $50, so you can convert that to AUD is about $80. And then shipping's about $25 to $40. And for me, even when, if I had the money to spend like $120 on a doll, some of the, when they first, the first six months, Sasha was not available. And I'm like, well, I'm not spending all that money on the doll, it isn't my favourite. So that was really annoying. And that's always been the case. Sasha's always been one of the hardest ones to find out here. Yeah. So annoying because she's my favourite. Yeah. Um, I have like two Sasha dolls yeah. myself, so <laughs> she's rare. Yeah, so that's like was so annoying for me. I was like, well, one, they don't even have Sasha, but two, we just don't know when we're going to get them because like together, paying it 200 plus dollars for two dolls just sounds crazy. We've it never is. spent that kind of money on a doll. <laughs> we're not that well off, so... Like, it's just ridiculous. That's the struggles of being Australian. Everything's expensive. eBay is just as expensive, if not more. So the struggles of an Australian doll collector. Like, mm -hmm. everyone in America, I've seen people that have bought, like, two of each doll, that have brought the whole collection, boxed and unboxed. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, count your blessings, because we don't know when we're going to get these dolls. Hopefully soon, because we absolutely like Hopefully we'll get one before they ever release another one, or otherwise we're never yeah. going to get them. Exactly. But, we, you know, we absolutely love them. We're really happy that Brad's we're, we're counting down the days, and we all, yeah. like, every day we're on Instagram waiting for the new posts. We're so excited for these dolls, and we thought we would get them, but then I wish they didn't sell them on Amazon, because it's just so expensive. The exchange rate between US dollar to Australia dollar is like ridiculous astronomical. So mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So it's a bit depressing, but um, you know, we love them, we're really proud of Bratz. Like so, you know, we have we talk about all these memories that we have with Bratz and we, we have we have so much and then, you know, for years, you know, when when Bratz, you know, finally sort of came to an end and then kind of been off and on for a few years, really struggling. And then, you know, they came back really strong with this line. We were so proud of them. We're so proud of Bratz also going back to what they originally were. Bratz, the girls with a passion for fashion. Not trying to please anyone, not trying to get to sort of younger kids, but knowing their fan base. Knowing most of their fan base are like, our, age. our age, like in their 20s now. Um, so those are the people that love Bratz. We're really proud of them for going back to what they were. And hopefully we will see another line. Hopefully we will see another movie, another... TV yeah. series. Um, they mentioned once that they're going to be doing makeup, um, which is really yeah. cool. Uh, we hope that happens. Um, just yeah, we have we have a lot of hope for Bratz for the future. Hopefully they can sort of rise from the ashes, as they've sort of been doing, and um, yeah, we can see more of them because we just have so many memories. Yeah. And just a side note, everyone complaining about we want another line. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my that gosh, was I was so actually going to post about that on our story. I commented on the Bratz. I just tell everyone to like calm you know down what? about that. Everyone needs to stop whinging all the time. Like that's one thing that's yeah. really annoyed us about the Mian line is people haven't stopped whinging mm -hmm. all the time. From the word go, people whinged. This, this design is crap. This doesn't look good. This isn't original. And then when they got the dolls, this tiny microscopic black dot is on my doll. I'm paid $50 for the... And look at this tiny microscopic thing of... Look at this little bend and crease. This is supposed to be a collector doll. I'm sorry, but like people just pick nitpicked everything about the dolls when they came out. We can't even buy them because we don't have five hundred dollars to splash on dolls. And 
so many people just complain about every single thing and that really annoys yeah. us a lot. And then now you're all complaining about, we want new dolls, we want new dolls. Like, so there's so many people out there that still can't even afford the current dolls. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, and of course, we're not saying like everyone, anyone watching this video are probably not the people complaining. Yeah. You know, we don't follow anyone that's complaining. But I have seen, I've seen under the Bratz post and I did comment on the Bratz post and I kind of wanted to make a post about it because it really upset me because yes one we can't get these dolls and two you know they're really good stop stop complaining and stop be thankful they're we, back yeah exactly because mga could have been like this is it we're done we're not going to try again but they yeah. brought them back they listened yeah, brats to came us back fighting and now that yeah they've actually listened to us they've gone back and they've done to their best to stay true were. to everything they yeah. were but yeah, yeah, we don't just, believe any of the people watching this or on that side, but yeah, just mm. have to try and hopefully our guys understand this. Yeah, like, and I mean, just just stop being so demanding about it. Like like little whiny little brats, <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know, a pun. Um, but, but seriously, like, stop complaining about the dolls and stop demanding more and more. Be thankful for what you have. Treasure for what you have. Like, even if we never get these dolls, like, even if we never get another Bratz doll again, which, you know, hopefully yeah. we will, but we will treasure all the Bratz dolls that we have. And yeah, you know, some of them are not un in really in the best condition, you know, but we love them and we love the new dolls and you know, just, if anyone can get them, even just one of them, just be really thankful because Yeah. You know, so we've wanted them since before before they came out. Since they were announced we were like we have to get the Sasha mm -hmm. and the Osman. And almost a year later we still don't have them. And I don't know when we're gonna get them, but probably have yeah. to win a competition. <laughs> probably. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I think that's all of our memories. Well, that's not all of our memories. It's not all of our memories, but, but as it is, if we keep video, going, this video is going to be two hours. Yeah. We have so many memories individually and like with every single aspect of Bratz. We have so much memories. As it is, this video is going to be probably 45 minutes long, <laughs> I think. Yeah, um, because we, we just love to talk about Bratz. We still talk about Bratz to this day. We have so many memories. Like we mentioned, it is our whole childhood. It took over our lives, it took over our world. And we're just really thankful because obviously it helped us grow as friends, as people. You know, again, we'll make another video sort of defending brats. Um, but, you know, we always will defend brats because, you know, they, they've had a lot of bad, bad rap. Yeah, and it's like even more defending than Barbie. Cause... Exactly. Yeah. Um, they, they've been through a lot, but we have been through a lot with brats and we know, you know, what brats really is and what brats means to us. You know, they've always, like I said this um, probably a, a lot of times, but any sort of ounce of confidence I have in my life and in myself, I owe to Bratz because Bratz was always, you know, express yourself, be yourself. And they taught us the value. stand out. Yeah, exactly. And they taught us the value of friendship. And, you know, and people carry on because they're all about fashion. But also, honestly, they, they just talk about using fashion as a way to, yeah, to express, express yourself, themselves. which is, is so true. You know, what you wear can really show who you are. Yeah, and they were just all about your fashion can be to express yourself and to never be ashamed of that. Yeah. You know, just wear what you want to wear to be who you are and show who you are and never be ashamed of that. Yeah, exactly. And you know, that, that's that's why we love brats. And, you know, they, they are our best friends. And, you know, they are so much of the reason why we are best friends. And um, we've learned so much from them. And they will always be part of our hearts. And I always just get so emotional when I think about it because I associate brats with childhood, with more innocent times, more simpler times. And, um, but they're always going to be with us and we're always going to stand up for Bratz and we're always going to be huge fans and be really supportive and really, really proud of Bratz. And we're just so thankful that um, it's in our lives. You know, we, mm. we, we are known for being Barbie lovers, um, which, which we are, And um, but Bratz first, was our first yeah. love. So it's going to be our very first, first love, love in our entire life. Yeah. Like, uh, so it's going to be the doll that we treasure the most in the world. Yeah. And it's always going to... It's made made up our ten years of memories as friends. So yeah. yeah, yeah, and just it gets us emotional. But um, yeah. So we hope you enjoyed hearing about our love for brats and the hope you made it through this video. <laughs> <laughs> I know if you watch this whole video, honestly, you're amazing. Thank you, yeah. thank you for listening, and um, we will make more brats videos in the future. Um, yeah. So let us know if there's any types of Bratz videos you'd like us to make. We will do a collection video and hopefully a cosplay one day. Yeah, hopefully. Maybe a music video. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, thank you dolls for watching. And we'll see you on yeah. next one. All right. <laughs> Peace. Peace.